Welcome to the Utah Museum of Fine Arts at the University of Utah. I'm Whitney Tassi, Senior Curator and Curator of Modern and Contemporary Art. The UMFA galleries are filled with dynamic works of art from around the world. They're great places to reflect, to get inspired, or to gain a fresh perspective. The UMFA believes that engaging with works of art can make people healthier and happier, and communities stronger and more connected. That's why we're especially excited to bring to Utah this landmark exhibition, Black Refractions, highlights from the Studio Museum in Harlem. Black Refractions is the first exhibition of its kind ever presented in our state. It features powerful expressions of black identity from nearly 80 artists of African descent from the 1920s to the present. It also celebrates the Studio Museum's powerful role in supporting such artists and championing art inspired by black culture. The Studio Museum opened in 1968 in Harlem, the center of New York City's black cultural life. It was a tumultuous year. African American artists engaged more deeply in social activism themselves, drawing attention to widespread discriminatory practices in the American art world. Amid this upheaval, a group of artists, activists, and philanthropists committed to highlighting the work of black artists. They established the Studio Museum in Harlem to embrace the role of artists in education and community. Black Refractions explores a century of black artistic production in a variety of media, including painting, sculpture, photography, video, and installation. Dr. Connie H. Choi, the associate curator of the permanent collection at the Studio Museum in Harlem, very carefully selected the works on view to highlight varied expressions of black identity. These works reflect, document, or critique black life and the ways in which black lives are perceived. Many artists demonstrate how race intersects with other aspects of identity, such as class and gender. Some choose to integrate personal experience into their works. Others document daily life, bringing black lived experience into the museum context where it has historically been excluded. Certain artists challenge stereotypical notions of blackness, while others show aspirational ideas of what the black experience can be. Malaysia Garfield, director of the University of Utah's Black Cultural Center, is one of several local black creatives, leaders, and professionals who share their personal perspectives in audio commentaries you'll find throughout the exhibition. I would also say the man in this artwork represents a piece of me, someone who grew up poor in the cities of gray skies and organized crisis. He represents my drive for more and constantly thinking about my next season rather than the seasons before. His kite symbolized to me the various hats I've had to wear to transcend beyond my hometown. The amount of code switching and learning about myself, always wanting to know how do I define myself and how do others define me? And here's Ruth Gooden, a UMFA docent, talking about a painting that resonated with her. I love the mystery of this painting. At first glance, it seems to be a lighthearted drawing of a relaxed figure, perhaps dressed for a party or simply to make a fashion statement. A deeper look into the painting and I become curious. The facial expression of the portrait does not seem to match the brilliant background colors. I want to reach out and touch the young musician's shoulder to comfort him. We are so excited to bring our community together to embrace and elevate the work of these talented Black artists and of other artists of color featured elsewhere in our galleries. Whether you visit in person or participate virtually in a program or activity online, don't miss this wonderful opportunity to join us in celebrating the profound cultural contributions of artists of African descent. <laughs>